when I think of heaven. Good morning, everybody. This is Thursday, moment of destiny with Pastor Adebo. Tomome will come in your way this morning. I want us to start by giving thanks to God who is the owner of our lives, who owns our life, is the father of our spirit. Please bless him. Please lift up your voice. I don't know where you are listening from, from any part of the world you are listening. For no matter which side of the bed you woke up from, just lift up your voice and thank him and thank him and thank him just let him know that you are grateful even not for anything that he, he woke you up to see another day you may say well i didn't find sleep on time i had to use sleeping tablet do you have waking tablet have you seen where they say waking tablet there's nobody that has waking tablet only god <laughs> Oh yeah, let's give him thanks. Father, we thank you that we live, we slept, you woke up, that sustain us. Thank you for sustaining power. Glory be to your name. We give you glory. Lord, we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. We appreciate you for your mercy, for your workings in our life, for answer to prayers. We glorify only for diverse benefit and favor you are showing to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, we've we'll been talking about wisdom. Talking about the fact that the wisdom that have been ordained for our glory. <laughs> the wisdom that have been ordained to bring us to the place of glory. That wisdom is not on the shelf. That wisdom is not the wisdom of man. That wisdom is not diabolical wisdom. That wisdom is not intellectual wisdom. That wisdom is the hidden wisdom. <laughs> and how do you get yourself? How do you enter? How do you position yourself for the release of that spirit? Because the Bible says that we are destined for glory. That is, it says we speak the wisdom of God in the mystery. Ah, Sakamboro Goza. It is the wisdom of God that we are speaking right now. Even the hidden wisdom, God has ordained before the world for our glory. So we are destined for glory. Now, but the point is, how do you position yourself for that? The Bible gives us a clear understanding. In verse 9, it said, I is written, eyes I have not seen, ears I have not heard. Neither are intended of any man what God has in stock for those that, what they are prepared for those that love him. And what they are prepared for those that love him. Kande Brogoza. But God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For his spirit, such a is ye. Deep things of God, what does that mean? The thing that God has prepared for us, one of it is wisdom. But who are the people that will assess it? Those that love him. He said, which God has prepared for those that love him. Those that love him. Those that love him. So you, loving God is, is, is what positions you. Is what attracts the Holy Spirit to reveal to you. To, 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 to. To open the, the, the treasure of wisdom. That is, treasure of wisdom is shared by the Holy Ghost with those that love the Father. Do you love Him? And that's why the Bible says that the love of many in the, in the last day shall was cold. When your love was cold, your access will was cold. Your access to hidden wisdom will was good. The reason why our glory is hidden is because the wisdom we need to assess that realm is hidden. Magangaro Boza. And that is why I prophesied to somebody listening to me this morning that the Lord will bring about a revival 
of his love in your heart. The love of God shall be burning in your heart. That's why he said uh, to them in Revelation, he said, I have this against Revelation 2, verse 4 to 5, from verse 3 down. He said, I have this against you. You are people that cannot stand those that are evil. You are very, you have this, you are that, you are that. He said, but I have this against you. And what I have is that I say you have left your first love. He said, repent and do the first work. So if your first love has gone, your first access has been affected. So it's to the level to which you love the Father, it's to that level that wisdom will be given to you. So wisdom is for lovers. Hidden, hidden wisdom, meaning hidden secret. Hidden, hidden secret that others know that you don't know or that others, others know that you don't know. And that is why I want to say, eyes have not seen, I have not had enter the heart of anyone. <laughs> what God have himself for those that love him? The Bible says in Romans uh, 5, 5, the love of God shall abide in our hearts. So anywhere you see the, anywhere you see the Holy Spirit, anywhere you see the love of God, the Holy Ghost will begin to reveal things to you. And that is why I want to encourage somebody this hour that will return back to your first love. Don't let anybody, don't let anything tamper with your love. Particularly in this season, the love of many was in code. The love of many are was in code. Don't let your love was code. If your love was cold, your access to wisdom is blocked. Wisdom is knowing the way out of where you are. Wisdom is knowing the step to take and taking it. Wisdom knowing the right way to go and go in there. Wisdom knows the right thing to do. And those wisdom, they are only manifesting to those that are in love. Romans 5.5, 5, the love of God is brought now by the Holy Ghost. So when you love God, it positions you to be able to receive, to be able to open the treasure of wisdom to your life. That what happened. Many people don't have wisdom because they don't love God. They don't love God. And you can't, love is not a feeling. Love is a choice you make. I love God. I will not allow my situation or the problem I'm going through to, 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 to take me away from the love of the master. And that's why we are, I will pray in this hour. Lord, help me to love you more. Help me to love you more. To be, it is that is the love that established David and Solomon in the realm of wisdom. Remember, David loved the Lord. Yes, he loved God, and you know he's a man that loved God. You say, I have of my own papa go give in to the house of my God. A man of affection for God. Look at Solomon. Solomon loved the Lord. So Solomon loved the Lord into this thing. He loved the Lord. It was his love for God that made God to open the treasure of wisdom to him. And Solomon loved the Lord. That's what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says about Solomon. And Solomon loved the Lord. It was love that motivated him to sow the seed that opened the door to the, the wisdom. So I'm going to pray today. Lord, help me to love you. Help me to love you more by your spirit. Lord, help me. My love must not was cold in this season. My love must not was cold. This COVID-19 season, this pandemic, my love must not was cold. Lord, help me that my love for you will become on fire. Help me, O Lord, that my love for you will be on fire. Magazu bregedala barababaya. Help me, Lord. Gazim brugoza. Lord, to love you more. Help me to love you in this season. Help me to love you. That my love for you will increase. My love for you will increase. Thank you, Jesus. Help me to love you, Master. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. If you are there, you are not born again. Take this prayer after me, Lord Jesus. I come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. Wash me with your blood today. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Just like in First Kings chapter three, verse three, and Solomon loved the Lord. That is where the journey to his encounter with wisdom began from. He loved the Lord. Love for God. Very, very important. Love for God. Sakarebo sababaya. And if you are not born again, I seem pastor pray for me. Say this word after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. Forgive me my sin. Wash me with your blood. Today I receive as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul in Jesus' name. Please, I wanted to share this message with somebody. Let, let this message go viral. Please, please, please. I mean, share to 10 people. Let them be blessed by these brokers. God bless you. And tonight, I will be on, on Facebook Live uh, on Adebo Tomomeo Ministries page, 8 p.m. UK time and 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. U.S. time, Washington, D.C. So please, I want you to uh, uh, join me on this platform and let somebody uh, let somebody connect and invite somebody to join you, and the Lord will bless you as you do so. Help me share this message. Bless somebody with it. God bless you. Bye-bye.